mysterious island teeming with life only four years after being created. In 2015, the island of Hunga Tonga suddenly emerged in the southern Pacific Ocean near Fiji. A hidden underwater volcano erupted and drove the rock up to the surface to create the island. The volcano was situated between two already existing islands in the South Pacific, then connecting them to one oversized island. It's located in the Kingdom of Tonga and technically has no official name, but locals have dubbed it Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai, which they call Hunga Tonga for short. It is a volcanic rock island situated 19 miles southeast of Tonga Island. It is made up of black gravel and is relatively small. Within the last 150 years, only two other volcanic islands have suddenly burst into the ocean like this. NASA and other research organizations have been studying the island closely, taking frequent GPS measurements to map out the island. Most of their research has been conducted purely by satellite or aircraft until 2019. Four years after it initially emerged, they finally visited the island and observed it on foot. The scientists noted that the ground was not quite like sand. Instead, it was made up of pea-sized gravel and was quite painful to walk on. They also found that hundreds of seabirds had already nested on the southern cliffs of the island. Most surprisingly, though, was what they found on the black gravelly beaches. Beautiful pink and purple flowering plants were growing across the devoid island, despite poor soil conditions. Scientists believe that the plant life grew because of the seabirds, called sooty terns, living on the island. They seeded the isle with their droppings. Whatever seeds and plants they ate were then transferred into the soil and fortunately took hold of the environment, allowing flowers to bloom on this mysterious island. Researchers are eagerly studying Hunga Tonga, trying to learn as much as possible about the process and qualities of rare volcanic islands before it erodes completely. Due to the harsh weather conditions of the Pacific Ocean and constant rainfall, the island is crumbling away quickly. Scientists are surprised at the rapid rate at which the coastline is eroding and are not sure how long it will take until it completely disappears. Until then, they will continue to observe the volcanic rock, take measurements, and watch the flowers thrive. Rabbits burrowing on a remote Welsh island uncover a Stone Age treasure trove. Much of what we know about our past, from dinosaurs to Neanderthals, would not have been possible without the skills and expertise of archaeologists. They carry out an immensely complicated and time-consuming job which often goes resultless for months on end. However, as we are about to explain, such spells of archaeological drought can be ended by the most unexpected of discoveries. In March 2021, a nest of rabbits lent a helping hand to a group of archaeologists scouring the desolate island of Skokholm, a stone's throw away from the southwest coast of Wales. The curious colony of bunnies managed to unearth two artefacts of intrigue. Since 2014, the island's sole inhabitants were two wardens by the name of Giselle Eagle and Richard Brown, who were hired by a wildlife trust. During early March, they chanced upon a smooth oblong stone by the outskirts of their cottage lying in a rabbit hole. Something about it aroused their suspicions, prompting them to take pictures of the object to send to researchers they did suspect it was man-made. The pair's hunch was deemed correct, and what they had stumbled across was quite something to behold. After carrying out a much more in-depth investigation, researchers confirmed that this seemingly innocent stone was actually a tool from the late Mesolithic era, approximately six to 9,000 years old. The tool, also known as a beveled pebble, was used by hunter-gatherers for an array of tasks such as processing seafood and skinning seals so that their skin could be used to line their boats. That same rabbit hole played host to another discovery of artifacts in the form of sizable fragments of clay. A curator of prehistoric archaeology at the National Museum of Wales recognised the clay fragments and confirmed that they were part of a cremation urn dating back to the early Bronze Age from around 2000 to 1750 BC. 
The cluster of archaeological gems centered around one rabbit hole suggests that this was originally the site of an early bronze burial mound, which happened to be built over the top of a Stone Age hunter-gatherer site before being overrun by the inquisitive rabbits. This recent discovery has proven quite exciting for archaeologists given its location. Historically, Scotcombe was mainly known for its vibrant seabird life, with tens of thousands of seabirds, such as puffins, ducks and Manx shearwaters, calling the island home. Interestingly, about 50% of the world's Manx shearwaters reside there. So naturally, the island was never known for its archaeological treasures until the recent revelations. Academics now hope that the island will continue to serve up more prehistoric treats, with expeditions to Scotcombe being planned to take place as soon as possible. 1,000 microbe species have just been discovered in Tibetan glaciers. The Tibetan glaciers have long been considered extreme, to say the least. The Tibetan plateau is characterized by freezing temperatures, solar radiation and limited food. This hardly makes it sound like a comfortable place to spend time at. Despite these conditions, scientists have discovered 968 species of microbes. The discovery was aided by the Glacier Ecosystem's first dedicated genome catalogue. According to the research study team, glacier surfaces often contain diverse life, including bacteria, algae, fungi, archaea, and microeukaryotes as microorganisms are able to adapt to extreme conditions. Glacial microbiomes often provide a timeline of microbial life on Earth as ancient microorganisms have been revived. Researchers wanted to study the Tibetan Plateau, not in spite of its conditions, but because of them. The region has also been greatly affected by climate change, with more than 80% of its glaciers affected. The researchers stated, that the findings were particularly timely as the glacier ecosystem is threatened by global warming and glaciers are retreating at an unprecedented rate. For this reason, time is of the essence when studying the microbes in the area, as proof of their existence may soon be eliminated by climate change. At times, extreme efforts need to be made in hostile environments in the search for answers. In this case, the level of effort the researchers put into studying these microorganisms is extraordinary and it paid off. 82% of the genomes found were novel species. The researchers have begun calling the project the Tibetan Glacier Genome and Gene Catalog. According to the team, the TG2G Catalog offers a database and a platform for archiving analysis and comparison of glacier microbiomes at the genome and gene levels. But what are your thoughts on these amazing discoveries? Be sure to let us know in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.